The next page we want to look at, AC Currents. With your PQ, hopefully you bought three CTs, and we're going to install those on I1 and 2I3 on the PQ. From this pull down menu, it will set the ratio. On the side of your CT, it will have the ratio, a modern number. For example, today we're going to be installing some 200 amp CTs. That's all the configuration that's needed for your CT. If we have monitoring a second load, and those CTs are also 200 amps, we can install them here in a similar fashion. By default, the current range is low, and this should be left that way. If we're using ultra precise CTs, each CT comes with a serial number. Once highlighted, the serial number goes in here and the calibration is applied. If later on, if you're looking at your phaser clock or waveforms and you realize that your CTs were actually not connected in order, this is a common thing. You can switch them here without rewiring. Here we've switched I1 and I2. Another common issue is the CTs are installed the incorrect way. By default, the PSL supplied CTs, the, the white-sided label must face towards the source. If, however, you've installed it the other way around to save you climbing back into the switch gear, you can click on these inverts and that actually flips the wiring for you in software. I'm going to put this back to default because we wired ours correctly. For the trending, let's set down here. Phase current records recording, leave it as auto or turn it on. Did we have a neutral CT? If we didn't, we want to turn that off. And do we have an air CT? CT? And that would be CT5. We could say this is slightly smaller to detect the earth current. So now we have a smaller CT on 5, and that's here. Turn that on. Do we want to cut record the trends for 6, 7, and 8? Yes, we do. Let's turn them on. If in the system we didn't actually didn't have a ground CT, we can actually tell the PQ to calculate it for you. Right there. If it's a delta system and you only have two CTs, you can ask the PQ to calculate the missing CT. And there you go. So we don't have to install a CT on I5 anymore. The P cube is actually calculating it in this example. Power demand interval, 15 minute recordings. Uh, VAR calculations are built based upon fundamental, that is the 60 hertz. If you select fries, it is based upon the harmonic content of the current waveform. By default, we leave it as fundamental. Do you want to do energy recordings? Create an, a power CSV file? If so, click and then the interval. KYZ relay. The relay on the P-Cube itself will actually toggle its state based on a watt hour, on watt hour selection. You would enter those values here. 